If you're a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you're looking for more funding for your deals, regardless of your credit, your experience, your verification of income, don't go anywhere. I'm going to plug you into the money in just a second. But before we do that, I want to welcome you to the show, especially if this is your first time on the show. My name is Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. And here on the show, we talk about all things real estate, single family houses, commercial deals, finding deeply discounted houses and, and deals off the market. And as I just mentioned, how to get the funding for your deals, regardless of, you know, not having to rely on the banks. Now, if you've been tuning into the show for the past year or so, you're part of a movement. We're getting thousands and thousands of downloads every week and every month. And we're just glad to have you here on the show. And if you've been tuning in on either YouTube or you've been listening in on iTunes or Google Play, you know that I'm having some very amazing guests here on the show. And today I've got a stellar amazing guest that I'm going to introduce to you in just a moment. And we're going to be talking about how he can show you to find off-market deals, deeply discounted properties in a very unique way before other real estate investors even know that those deals exist. But before I introduce you to my guest, let me tell you about the funding. So I'm known as the private money authority where we don't rely on banks to get money for our deals. And I've got online right now on demand waiting for you to go check it out. I teach you the five easy steps on how to get the money for your deals. It's called where to get the money now, how I raised over $2 million in less than 90 days when cut off from the banks. And you'll learn my exact story on that class and how to get the funding yourself. And I'll also plug you into the funding. So here's the website to go check out right after the show. And it's www.jayconner.com -E forward slash money podcast. For those of you that are tuning in on iTunes and Google Play and just listening in, we will have all this information in the show notes. But once again, it's www.jayconner.com dot com forward slash money podcast. Well, folks, as I mentioned just a moment ago, talk about the guests that I have had on this show over the past year. The guest that I've got on for the on for you today on the show is going to blow your socks off. I started using his strategy and technique some time ago. I know nothing else there, nothing else like it out there in our marketplace for us real estate investors. And so my friend and colleague, I'm going to tell you about him, and then I'm going to give you his name. He is the CEO of Deal Machine, and his service and strategy, as I mentioned, finds these off-market deals in a lot of cases before other real estate investors even know they exist. So in most cases, it gets rid of your competition, and you, through using this strategy, are communicating or your team or your acquisitionist is communicating with this possibly very motivated seller and you're not having to deal with the competition. His strategies have got it set up on automatic to where you're able to use direct mail, email, phone, et cetera. And it's without you or your team having to do any of it. He has got a system that automates all that communication with the motivated seller. So here's the cool thing about this guy in just the past year. And I'll tell you, a lot of real estate investors don't even know about this strategy and this service yet. So you're really getting tuned in here at the beginning of it. But with that said, just in the past year, his company and his service has had over 30,000 downloads of the service and his service has been used to capture over 1 million potential motivated sellers. Now, the real estate investors that love this service and strategy, wholesalers love it, flippers love it, anybody that's interested in single family houses, if you've got a buy and hold business and you're looking for a deal that's off market and you're not competing in the multiple listing service, this strategy is also for you as well. So with that, 
my friend, my colleague. I'm so excited to have you on the show here. David Lecco, CEO of Deal Machine. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much, Jay. It was a huge honor to be asked to be on your show. Absolutely. Well, you know, I've been using your service and some very high rollers and movers and shakers that I associate in a very high-end mastermind group are just singing your praises about how well your service is going. So before we jump right into it, how about take a moment or two and tell our audience your background and what it was that even led you to, you know, I tell you what, David, before your background, I want you to take a moment and just tell people what in the world Deal Machine is, what it does, how it's different from anything else out there in the marketplace, and then we'll come back to your background story that, that brought you to developing the software. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody's heard of driving for dollars. You know, every, everybody says that is the best lead list because you're actually using your time to get out there and grind and find those deals that look run down. And the visual appearance of those deals is what's going to make them really great leads because the condition of the the house is not something you can sort, you know, when you're pulling like a big list. And so the problem is that when you're a beginner, though, you just have a lack of follow through problems so frequently, like I did. So you'll go out and drive, but then you won't consistently do that. And you will forget to follow up with those leads. And Deal Machine solves all of that because you can actually take a photo of the house with the app. It tells you who owns it. And then you can get the phone number and postcard and have that sent immediately within seven seconds and you can just keep driving. So for beginners, it really helps with the follow through issue. And then for larger teams that they're kind of like, oh, wait, you know, driving for dollars is what I did when I just first started out. Now I send twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of mail every month. Well, Deal Machine allows you to scale a driving team, have others drive for you and get those deals for 30 percent less spend on marketing and then double the ROI because it's just a whole list that only you have. So that's what Deal Machine does. It automates the driving for dollars. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, David, you just said something amazing. And that is you said by using Deal Machine that it is a savings of 30 percent on the marketing dollars to actually get these leads, right? Absolutely. Yep. And that's conservative. Yeah. So, so let's break this down for everybody. So the old driving for dollars methodology is you got in your car or you scaled it and you hired other people, or you had what some people call an ant farm. You have people driving around looking for FISBO signs or they're looking for vacant houses. So let's stop right there. Let's stop right there, David. Deal Machine is an app, right? Mm -hmm. So Deal Machine is an app that anybody, real estate investor, whoever, can download to their smartphone. And when either you or someone on your team is in front of the house, okay, that looks like a potential deal, the GPS on the person's smartphone tells Deal Machine app where they're located, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so it works when you're right in front of the house. Also, you can pin a house if you're even not right in their front yard. You know, if you see it from a distance, you can click to pin that house and then it pulls up the address for you right there so you don't have to type anything in. Right. So you're there at the house. Now, I just mentioned FISBO signs. Is Deal Machine, I, I would, of course, we both know the most profitable deals are vacant houses or houses that are definitely looking distressed. But do you recommend for people to use Deal Machine for FISBO signs or just stick to the vacant houses? Oh, yeah. Well, if it's a FISBO sign, you might as well just call up the number right then and there. Exactly. Exactly. So no need to spend the money on marketing when you got a phone number. So Deal Machine is really good when there's no FISBO sign and it's looking like that these people could be wanting or needing to sell, right? Right. If you're hiring a driver, you may not want them to make the phone call. So then you can still have them add that FISBO sign in your, your app with a tag that says for sale by owner. That way you get those lists still kind of all put in the same place. 
Okay, well, that's a good point. So if you've got someone or a group of people that you've got driving around looking for these properties, there's a way you say to use the Deal Machine app to take a picture of that FISBO sign and put it in the Deal Machine app? Oh, yeah. We can get into like the nitty gritty of that. But if you're, you know, scaling rather than just driving yourself, definitely have those people add those into your your leads list. Okay, perfect. So back to the scenario. So yeah. the old scenario was you had somebody driving around or you're driving around and you're looking for vacant properties. Mm -hmm. And so you identify one. So the old school way of doing it prior to the world of deal machine is you, you knew what the physical address was, but then you had to go use skip trade, skip trace companies. You had to go look up tax records to try to locate the owner of the property. And then you had to do your own marketing and do your own direct mail and uh, use a skip trace service if you wanted to try to find phone numbers and email addresses. And that was a lot of grunt work prior to Deal Machine, right? For sure. Well, if you're driving for dollars, you probably have 10 to 50 properties that you found per day. And the mail providers typically have a minimum. Same with the skip trace providers. So I couldn't do that unless I had hundreds of properties to submit at the same time in a spreadsheet. And so that was part of my lack of follow through problem was I didn't have a way to send it out quickly and easily. Gotcha. So now with Deal Machine, you're in front of the property or one of your team members. Mm -hmm. And now I'm interested in this property. So I want Deal Machine to do its magic while I'm right there in front of a house or I'm across the street and I've pinned it. Now, let me turn the reins over to you, David. What happens and, and what's the magic that Deal Machine can do? Take it from there, David. Right. So, you know, traditional skip trace, you'd have to have all, hundreds to get their phone numbers and then wait. They like, there's a delay. So with Deal Machine, you could press the button and you get the phone numbers instantly. And so then you can just send a call or text right there on the spot from their front yard. And the other option that's actually more common is sending a postcard. And the postcard is going to get a better response rate because it features the picture of the house that you took. And then you can see a preview in the app. It's going to be sent right from the app and you can get notifications when it's delivered. Okay, so, so, okay hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let's uh, hold the phone. Let's stop right there. Okay. So I'm in front of a house. Uh huh. I pull up my deal machine app. Yeah. And I take a picture of the house with yep. my with my smartphone. I take a picture, right? And I decide I want to send out a postcard or a series of postcards. I'll let you talk about that in a second. And that postcard that shows up in the mailbox of the owner of the house. The front of the postcard has got a picture of their house, right? Yeah, it does. So they're like, oh, I mean, I've got a stack of letters over here from other investors, but I called you because it looked like you took some additional time and thought in, in putting this mail piece together. Wow. So when Deal Machine automatically mails that postcard out, well, first mm -hmm. of all, everybody wants to know right now, how much does it cost to mail a postcard? Yeah, it's 99 cents on the basic plan and 80 cents on the enterprise plan. And so those that includes, you know, the picture on both sides and the postage and printing and everything all together. Well, my lands, David, you're too cheap. That's like <laughs> crazy. That's like that's crazy cheap because if I'm bringing that list back to my office and team and I'm stuffing envelopes and I'm mailing and I'm printing letters I mean, just for a to get a mailing list of absentee owners or other types of, you know, possibly motivated sellers, I'm gonna be paying a dollar thirty, a dollar forty cents for for those other types of lists. Oh yeah, if, yeah, exactly. If you've ever done like one-off postcards, you know how much time it takes to look stuff up manually and then to print those out, court, you know, configure your printer and then run those to the post office. And then remember again to do that three or four weeks later as your follow-up. So it really does, it, it does make a lot of sense if you've like gone through that hassle and you realize wow. how much time that takes. 
Okay, so I've got like I got like ten different questions going through my head simultaneously right now. So, yeah. so you're there. You take a picture of it. You want a postcard sent. You hit the little magic button inside the Deal Machine app. How soon does the postcard go out? So it's going to be in the mail within two business days. And then from that standpoint, it's just going to go through the normal mail delivery process. So to be safe, we always say, you know, five to seven days, depending on if you do it on a weekend or if there's a holiday, that's what you can expect. And in the app, it's actually barcoded mail. So it's tracked. So you can open up the app and say, and look and see that it's expected to be delivered on a certain day. I love it. All right. So we got postcards. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned just a moment ago. Well, of course we know, and my audience knows the money is in the follow-up, the money is in the follow-up. And you just mentioned that prior to deal machine and you creating this brilliant software that you had to remember to follow up or you had to, you know, have in place a follow-up system. Well, tell everybody what does Deal Machine do automatically that fixes the follow-up problem? Right. So it actually lets you repeat that mail for as many times as you want and as frequently as you would like. And we take it a step further. So if you want to get really sophisticated, you could make a sequential campaign that says, hit them with one postcard. Then on the second postcard, say something different or maybe change the look and feel of it. And then you can change all those and get very specific if you want. But if you're just starting out, just repeat that same postcard that's default and that's going to be enough. Nice. So uh, you got postcards going out. Now, Mm -hmm. what other ways does Deal Machine, does the Deal Machine app give you uh, more ways to communicate with the owner of the property? Yep. So we do have a single button that gives you those phone numbers that we talked about. That's going to be mobile and landline phone numbers, and they'll be labeled so you can tell which one's which. So you can send texts or make calls from the app, and you can also send emails. So we'll give you the email addresses related to that owner, and if any come back that we can find, you can actually set that up directly in Deal Machine to send an automated email as well that's got the photo of the house that basically says what your postcard says, but it just gets delivered instantly. And it's kind of like magic when somebody responds right away. It's like they're getting it at their work email and they're like, oh, what is this? My house. You know, so it it really can't is magical. I mean, you can set up that integration with the email using Zapier. So we can talk about that later. But you can send the postcards out sequentially. And does Deal Machine, does the Deal Machine app already have templated emails within the app that you can just like plug and play and they, and it happens automatically? Um, the email side, you don't. You actually have to set that up with like a third-party connection to your Gmail account. That sure. company's called Zapier. Right. But what you end up doing is we have the pre-templated postcards. Just copy the exact text from what your postcards say. Okay, beautiful. So we got emails, phone numbers. Now I'll tell you what I love about the phone numbers. I've got a really, really good friend Uh, actually two that come to mind that are just knocking it out of the park on outbound calling. In fact, do you happen to know Brent Daniels? Do you know Brent? I do happen to know Brent Daniels. My lands, talk to people, TTP. And I got to know Brent, oh, I guess about a year ago as well. So he's just, you know, he's amazing. But, you know, since you with Deal Machine now supply the phone numbers, Anybody that's interested in actually making outbound calls, of course you don't, you know, a lot of real estate investors, that's not their cup of tea, but I will tell you, I mean, I want to hear your suggestion, David, do you suggest just, I I know, I know they, I know everybody can just take advantage of say the postcards, but my guess would be if you really want to maximize the power of deal machine is Use the postcards, use the email, and use the outbound calling. Yeah. I mean, my advice would be all anything that's automated, just take advantage of that. So, But really, just if you're beginning, focus on one thing, whether that's mail or whether that's cold calls. You're going to have a limited budget, so I would just really focus in on one specific thing. 
And then if you are more advanced and you've got a larger budget, send the mail and make a phone call and set up that automation. So when you pull the phone numbers, it sends an auto email as well. So then you're doing and hitting them on all three ways, which I think is the right strategy. I just don't want people to get distracted if they're brand new and it's overwhelming. Yeah. So let's, let's talk for a moment uh, about something really, really basic. All right. Mm -hmm. Because let's say I've got a large part of my audience that do bukus of deals. And I have another large part of my audience that they're still looking to do their first deal. Okay. And so for those folks that are looking to do their very first deal, what advice do you have on when it comes to driving around? What are the what are the actual clues or advice you would give? Because you've done a lot of it yourself. On what are the telltale signs? What would a house or property look like that you would say, you know what? I want to send these people some postcards. Oh yeah. So you want to find the rough house in the diamond neighborhood. So I don't go in the really, really, really rundown parts of town. But I look in more of those like Midwest $150,000 blue collar type, you know, B class neighborhood. And then I look for the houses that look a little out of place because they got a lot of peeling paint or their landscaping just totally crazy. And they may have like a stuffed mailbox. So that means nobody's there getting the mail. A lot of times if the blinds are open and you can see straight through the house and you can tell it's empty. Great, great lead. A couple of deals I personally did had like a gutter falling off. And another one had like a blue tarp on the roof. And so the only thing I'd add to that is just like a couple of things you wouldn't notice to think of is in those neighborhoods, if they've got like a window AD unit, you know, where, where central air is kind of not super expensive upgrade, a lot of the neighbors have done it, but this house doesn't, you know? So if a house is run down, I mean, there's only two things that people can do with it, either sink money into it to fix it up or sell it at a discount. That's it. So you're just looking for those houses that people are going to need to sell at a discount. I got you. I got you. I've heard you mentioning that before we came live on the show, David, you were telling me about this person named Bo and what had happened to them. Can you share the story about what you were telling so me? So my friend Bo, has, he did this $85,000 wholesale deal, and then he did a couple others that pushed him over 100000 and he came from working a 30000 a year job. So it was amazing that he was able to make three years worth of his salary using Deal Machine. And I want to tell you about that $85,000 deal because it was, it's great to hear those details, I think, especially if you haven't done a deal yourself yet. So he was driving around Nashville and he found this modular home, which is like a, like a mobile home that's kind of like permanently fixed there on a pretty big lot. And so he, he took a picture of it and he hit the enhanced search button to get the phone number and called the guy up. And he's like, well, I was renting it for, you know, 500 a month and uh, to a relative who ended up moving out. And man, it just, I'm tired of being a, a landlord that needs, house needs a lot of work. And so Bo was like, hey, what, what, would you, what would you accept for an offer in this house? And so the guy just came back 300,000. Now, Bo actually knew because he was paying attention to his market, they're splitting up these big lots and they're building four houses on these lots. And he also knew that a builder will typically pay 20% for just land of what their total like house value is. And so Bo's like, all right, each of these four houses is probably around 400,000. And so if you tally that up, that's, $1.6 $1.6 million of house. And so Bo's like, yeah, I can make 300,000 work. That's about 20% ish. And so Bo ended up getting it under contract. And what he ended up doing was selling it for $85,000 more. And then that guy held on to it for three more months and sold it for $25,000 more. So it got double wholesale before it even made it to a builder, which is crazy because that was Bo's first deal. And he was like, man, I could have asked for even more. But the important thing is that he got the deal done. And then he went on to do a a few more deals as well to push him over $100,000 in his first year getting into wholesaling. Nice. I love it. I love it. Now, I tell you what I also want us to talk about, and I know the audience is, is interested in this big time. So Deal Machine is amazing. 
deal machines got technology that you got technology going on that I don't know anybody else out there that's got this kind of service going on, David. So for those of us that may want to go ahead and put this entire process on automatic and scale the business. And when I say scale, what I'm talking about is replace me, replace Jay to where I've got other people out there looking for these properties, using the deal machine app and having all those leads coming into me. How in the world can we do that? Yeah. Oh man. So you nailed it. And I wanted to clarify, we have a lot of technology, but it's easy to use. You don't have to be tech savvy to use deal machine. Part of that, that technology is actually going to help you hire people to drive for you and train them without you wasting a lot of time. And so some of the ways that we do that, it's, it's through the enterprise plan, which is actually, instead of 49 a month for the basic plan, it's 199 a month, but it lets you have unlimited amounts of people driving for you. So that way you don't have to be the one out there using your phone to point and click. And so the people that are gonna be driving for you, you could pay them in a few different ways. You can add your mom and your best friend those are people who you don't even need a payment structure with. Like if you're just getting started, they want to help and support you. And when you're really excited about scaling it, you can pay like one to $2 per qualified house that somebody adds or my favorite, which actually costs you less is an hourly fee. So if you think about, you know, it takes about two to 300 typically houses in a deal machine mailed three times each to get a deal the mail cost right there is about $600 plus your subscription to deal machine at 49 a month is probably, you know, adding another hundred dollars to that. So expect to spend a thousand dollars, you know, to find a deal. And if you've got somebody you're paying hourly, it probably costs another, you know, four or 500 bucks to pay them, you know, $15 an hour to find 200 to 300 properties. And so, it's still way less of an investment than most people doing bulk mail are spending. I don't know what your numbers are, but I hear a lot that it takes, you know, three to $5,000 of bulk mail to find one deal. This is like 1500. So it's much less. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the average right now marketing cost for off market deals that I'm hearing, it doesn't cost me that much because I've been doing it 15 years and I got some pretty sleuthy stuff. But on average out there, it's about $3,000. So at $1,500, you're coming in at about half, you know? So that's right. pretty cool. So on the enterprise program, unlimited number of people. So they're out there taking pictures. And so they're sending the postcards out, of course, you know, but the person that owns the business are all the leads coming back into a central place? Yeah. So they all come into your account. So those, we call them deal finders. You can have all those deal finders adding properties for you very easily, but they can't spend any of your money by, they can't send mail. They can't look up the phone numbers and they can't see the owner info. They're just adding those properties. Oh, so, that's great. So you've got some yeah. privacy and some, and in other words, they can't be out there using your service to go get their own deals. Right. And so but yeah, so that's true. And then the other thing that we help you solve is making sure people don't drive the same streets twice or duplicate work by adding the same properties. Because we actually have a route tracking feature that'll track behind each one of your team members where they drove, how much, how many miles they drove, and how long they drove. So that way, not only do they prevent themselves from doing duplicate work, but you can make sure you've covered every street in a target zip code and accurately pay them based on the number of deals or time that they've spent driving for you. Well, you just answered a question that I was going to ask, and that is, where's the accountability piece in this thing to make sure that the people are doing what you've actually, you know, hired them to do? So you're saying Deal Machine app actually keeps up with where your deal finders have actually been driving. Right, it does. And so you can see that. And then the other deal finders can see where other team members have driven so they don't waste time going on that street again. Nice. Um, well, I was going to say with an asterisk because 
if if it's been a while, the, the route will turn yellow instead of green. So you're like, oh, it's been a while since I've been here. And then if it's been over a year, it'll turn red. So that way you're like, hey, I need to redrive this street because you know a tree might have fallen and there might be like new houses that have had damage that hasn't been repaired that you can then come in on and get. As a matter of fact, David, you just answered my next question. <laughs> All and right. That, and, and that was and that was how long do you recommend? But now it's actually in the app. So what kind of time filter is in there? between green, it was just driven until it goes yellow to where it might be worth driving again, to red to where, hey, somebody needs to drive this street. Right, yeah, so it's six month increments. It's green for six months, it's yellow for six more months, and then that next whole year it's red. Wow, you've had, I mean, you've advanced it, you've advanced the kind of services and you've like sort of filled in all the holes and the challenges that real estate investors could have had, but won't have now by using deal machine. Right, exactly. Yeah, so I mean, everybody knows driving for dollars was such a great lead source, but I mean, let's be honest, once you've done a lot of deals, you kind of build this life without inconveniences. So you don't drive for dollars anymore because you're like, I have the money to spend doing it this way. And so you can actually grow your money faster when you do scale driving for dollars and deal machine makes it easier for those investors who have done a lot of deals that that want it and need it to be easy for it to make sense. We well, see, David, what you have done with Deal Machine is what I teach my students. And in Deal Machine, you've totally automated the process by converting it to what we call a 3D system, which stands for dictate, delegate, and disappear. <laughs> yeah, you got to do that. <laughs> It's just going to be the whole reason why you got into real estate in the first place, probably, is like you want more free time back. Exactly. Exactly. Well, David, before we got on the show, as you know and you recall, I twisted your arm because I want to give my audience something, a way for them to, uh, uh, well, no pun intended, test drive your system, test <laughs> drive, right. give, give Deal Machine a test drive. In fact, if your marketing doesn't say that, you can steal it. Test drive. Deal machine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so anyway, tell everybody what we uh, what we put together. Free, free money and, uh, and a free trial. Go ahead. Yeah. So take it out for a test drive for two full weeks. Love that term. Plus, you're going to get $30 to send mail. So you can send a postcard to yourself. You can start sending postcards out to other houses. And you can do that all for you get $30 of credit by using Jay's promo code and his special link. Nice. So everybody, what we've put together is a special URL, a special link for you to go to, to where you can check out David's deal machine for two weeks and get $30 worth of free money to play with on sending postcards out. So here's the website to go to. It's www.jayconner.com forward slash Deal machine. So J A Y C O N N E R dot com forward slash deal machine. David, your final parting comments before we uh, say goodbye to everybody. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. Appreciate it. I'm just amazed at what you've put together, man. Yeah, I appreciate it too. And, you know, I know when you hear this, you know, people don't get to ask questions, but you can ask questions if you go to, you know, that link we've got a chat set up. So once people go to that link, they can ask us any questions. Our team's really responsive, less than five minutes during business hours in answering those questions about driving for dollars, about deal machine. And so just encourage everybody listening to go jump on that URL and at least just ask a question. I love it. I love it. David, thank you so much for coming here on the show. I know the audience is just eating this up. Everybody's want, going to want to get on over and check out your service. It really is amazing. So everybody get on over to Jay Connor, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash deal machine. David, thank you. And to our audience, thank you all for tuning in to the show. I'm Jay Connor, the private